So many algebra word problems are not too difficult to solve, but this particular type of problem and this specific problem right here will challenge even the strongest of algebra students. But uh, I don't want to kind of build this up too much because I want to give you a full opportunity for you to figure this out on your own. And the problem seems pretty simple, but the solution uh, is a little bit, uh, you know, it might surprise you, okay? It's not as straightforward as you may think. But let me go ahead and read the prompt to you. It is, Dan can dig a hole in 50 minutes. John can do the same job in 40 minutes. How long will it take them if they work together? All right, so again, a pretty uh, straightforward type of problem, at least the concept, right? Where, you know, we have uh, Dan working, uh, or Dan could do the job in 50 minutes, and John could do the, the job in 40 minutes. They kind of, you know, talk to one another, hey, let's just work together as a team. Uh, they should save a lot of time, so how much time will it take them? That is the question. Okay, so if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the right answer in just one second, and then, of course, I'm going to uh, thoroughly go over what's going on in this particular problem, and the solution might surprise a lot of you. Now, again, this problem seems uh, fairly straightforward, but uh, and it involves a particular kind of approach, okay? And this is really important for those of you out there that are learning algebra or want to learn algebra. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And uh, it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, now one uh, last thing before I show you the answer, okay? Let's just kind of apply some common sense here, okay? So Dan uh, digs his hole in 50 minutes. John's, uh, you know, obviously a little bit faster. He can do it in 40 minutes. So together they should, you know, uh, save a good amount of time if they're working together, right? They're like, hey, let's, you, you work over here, I'll work over here. You know, they should save a good amount of time. So, you know, you might want to just guesstimate, right? What would be a common sense uh, answer? What would you expect? Now, you know, there's no, you doesn't have to, you don't have to have any kind of mathematical, you know, way to get your guesstimate, but, you know, it should be a lot quicker than 50 or 40 minutes, right? Uh, obviously, if they're working together as a team. So let me go to show you the answer. The correct answer is approximately 22.2 minutes, okay? Now, before I kind of uh, congratulate those of you that figured this out, some of you might have said, well, maybe it's 45 minutes, right? Because you went, well, let's see here. Dan could do it in 50 minutes, and then John could do it in 40 minutes. Maybe it's the average, right? So 50 plus 40 is 90. 90 divided by 2 is 45. But does that make sense? Okay, I mean, think about it. You have two people. If one person could do the job in, you know, 50 minutes, two people, okay, and they, they're not too uh, separate in terms of how fast they could do the job. Will it take them 45 minutes? No, they should save a lot more time, right, working together as a team. So, you know, one thing that you want to do when it comes to math problems is if you do something and the answer just doesn't really kind of pass the common sense test, then, you know, you probably want to look for a different approach. But uh, if you've got 22.2 minutes, okay, around something around this um, decimal right here, that is very, very impressive. Matter of fact, I must give you a happy face, an A++, a 1,000% multiple. Matter of fact, I'm just going to stop right there. And I'm going to say, you know what, go home for the rest of the year. Uh, you know, you get an A++. Go enjoy, uh, you know, do whatever you want to do, video games, uh, watching sports. You clearly are a math genius, okay? And you, of course, would say, well, no, I just watch this guy on YouTube. He really helps me out. But listen, this is outstanding if you figure this out. And this type of problem is a problem that you need to understand if you want to be successful in algebra, okay? Especially algebra word problems. And we're talking about uh, what we call work, okay? Algebra work word problems, okay? So uh, there is a specific kind of formula that we need to understand in order to do this. So if you struggle with this problem, please don't feel bad. A lot of people do, even the best of math students. So let's go ahead and get into it right now. But uh, the first thing we want to do is recognize that we are dealing with a word problem. So read the thing at least three times, okay? Just don't read a problem once and then just start doing stuff. 
uh, you, you know, that's like a recipe for disaster. So read it at least three times. Make sure you understand the question. And then we want to kind of model this situation, okay? But here, uh, again, we uh, want to recognize that we are dealing with the concept of work, okay? And uh, not only that, we're dealing with the concept of one person. we got a, a person one over here doing some work, and then person two over here can do this, um, you know, do a job, right? Uh, work to complete a job. This person can do it at this uh, speed, and this person can do it at this speed. And by the way, this um, also applies to work problems where there's, let's say, machines involved, okay? One machine can do, you know, uh, produce X amount of widgets and, uh, you know, so uh, at this time or this particular rate, and this machine can do this. So you kind of have to recognize these type of problems. But anyways, uh, how much time will it take them if they work together, okay? Well, again, uh, you have to recognize this as a work problem, and you need to understand a basic formula, okay? So when it comes to algebra work uh, word problems. Uh, this is the basic concept that you want to remember. Okay. All right. So what you're going to have is uh, the following. So let's take uh, two people. Okay. So if person one can do a job in uh, whatever time and person two can do uh, one job in a different time, how much time uh, it will take them working together is going to follow this uh, equation. Okay. This formula. So what you're going to do is going to go one over the time it takes person one to do the job plus one over the time it takes person two to, uh, to do the job. Now, if there was person three involved, we just had that one over person three, et cetera. And that's going to be equal to one over the, uh, the amount of time it takes them uh, jointly. OK, if they're working together, it's going to follow this formula here, one over how much time it takes them uh, together. OK, so this is the formula that you need to understand. And uh, if you didn't understand this formula, of course, it will be uh, kind of confusing. Because really what we're trying to think about here is that the concept of, of one, okay, this is completing one job, okay? So for ex example, Dan can complete one job of uh, digging a hole in X amount of time, okay? And John can complete one job of uh, digging a hole in this amount of time. Okay, so you want to think in those terms, and together they will be able to complete one job together in this amount of time. All right, so if you're still confused, well, you, know, you won't be hopefully uh, too much longer because we're going to get into the actual algebra right now. But again, you need to understand the formula. Okay, so here is our problem, and uh, again, we want to kind of pull the specific information so Dan. Uh, can dig a hole in 50 minutes, and John can do the same job in 40 minutes. So uh, we want to figure out, obviously, what um, amount of time it will take them to do this together. So this is an algebra problem, so let's assign a variable x, okay, uh, that will represent the time um, it will take the, them working together as a team. So we'll just kind of delineate this information this way. So Dan can do this job in 50 minutes, John in 40 minutes, and we'll let x equal the time together. Of course, that'll be in uh, units of measure of minutes. And you do have to be mindful of units of measure because let's suppose I said John could do the job here in uh, you know one hour and 10 minutes, right? So if that was the case, you would have to convert this unit of measure uh, to 60 plus another 10 minutes. So this would be 70 minutes. So again, you know, other kind of, uh, twist and turns that you could find yourself in uh, problems. But anytime you're dealing with a word problem or a math problem that involves any units of measure, whether that be you know minutes, uh, time, distance, it doesn't make a difference. You got to make sure you're working in the same units of measure. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to set up our little uh, formula here. Okay, so one over 50 would represent uh, Dan, okay, he can complete one job, all right, uh, complete that one task in 50 minutes. John can complete that one task in 40 minutes, and together uh, they can complete that one, text, uh, one uh, task, excuse me, in X amount of minutes. So what we've done here is translated this situation into a lovely algebra equation. Okay, so at this point, really it comes down to do you have the algebra skills to solve this equation? 
Uh, by the way, if you are a little bit kind of overwhelmed, you're like, oh boy, this algebra stuff is really, you know, uh, intimidating. You know, don't let algebra intimidate you. There's just a lot to learn, a lot of skills. Uh, I have a huge amount of additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out. Also, if you want my full instruction in algebra, algebra one, algebra two, whatever the case is, I'll leave links to all my main courses in the description below. Okay, but uh, what we're gonna do next is have you subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed. And if you're going to do that, make sure to hit that notification button. This helps me big time. What it does is grow my classroom, my virtual classroom. I'm trying to pack in as many people that are interested in learning math or uh, maybe are struggling with math. My biggest thing, and I'm really passionate about this, is trying to find people who have you know, math phobia or math anxiety or math doubt, you know, like, oh, can I learn this stuff? You know, uh, I have you've heard uh, through the decades, many, many, too many sad stories on people who said, I gave up my, on my dreams of being an engineer because some uh, math teacher told me I was bad at math or I failed a math class and no one, you know, gave me the encouragement to keep going. Listen, I'm telling you, you can learn math, you can be great at math, what you need is great math instruction, a lot of encouragement, and strong work ethic. You got to be able to put in the work and practice. But if you got all that together, you can go very, very far in mathematics. But anyways, thank you so much. I hope you do subscribe. And now back to the problem. Okay, so here's the equation. We have one over uh, one over 50 plus one over 40 is equal to one over x. We would classify this type of uh, equation as a rational equation. It involves fractions. That word rational means fractions. So uh, how can we solve this equation? Well, there's a few different approaches. I'm going to suggest the easiest approach here is just to find the LCD okay, of the fraction. So we have uh, 50 over 40 equals 1 over x. Now, this is the LCD of these two things here. But I can multiply the equation, everything, um, by uh, whatever I want. Okay, When you have an equation, let's say like 2x, is equal to 10, I can pretty much multiply both sides of the equation by any number that I want. It's not going to break the equation. But if I multiply the equation by the LCD of these numbers here, what's going to end up happening is I'm going to clear these fractions. Okay, so 50 and 40, the lowest common denominator there is uh, 200. So let's go and multiply the uh, entire equation by 200 to just kind of get rid of these fractions. Now, another approach you could have taken is well, I could just add these fractions up. That's perfectly fine as well, but it kind of, um, you know, uh, just been another route to get to the same destination. Okay, so let's go to do that. So I'm going to take this 200 and I'm going to multiply it by the entire equation, okay, each term in the equation. So 200 times 1 over 50, that's going to be 4, right? So 200 or 200 over 1 is 4, and then 200. Uh, times this uh, 1 over 40 is 5, right? So this is, you know, multiplying fractions here. 200 times 1 over 40 is just 200 divided by 40, which is 5. And then 200 times 1 over x is going to be 200 over x, okay? So this is a much simpler uh, equation to work with. Clearly, we can see here we can add these numbers up, 4 and uh, 5. So now let's go ahead and continue on. Okay, so 4 plus 5 is 9. So now our equation is 9 uh, is equal to 200 over x. So we can think of this as a proportion. Okay, two equal fractions. So we'll just put this over 1. And uh, to solve this, very, very easy. All we have to do is use the cross product. So when you have two equal fractions, you can just crisscross like this. Let me just make this super clear. If I have the fraction 1 half and another fraction 5 over 10, these fractions are equal, right? And so what uh, you can uh, do is use the cross product. This is a property of proportions. When you have two equal fractions, you have a, a proportion. So 10 times 1 is 10, and that's going to be equal to 2 times 5, which is 10. Okay, so just to be abundantly clear about this, this is the cross product. All right, so x times 9 is 9x. 1 times 200 is 200. And now to solve for x, super easy. All I have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 9 and then 200 divided by 9, and feel free to use your calculator. It's going to be approximately 22.2 repeating, but we'll just call it 22.2 uh, minutes, right? Because our units of measure is minutes. And now this makes sense, right? If uh, if um, Don, okay, is over here, let's say here's the hole, they've got to dig this hole. Don is like, okay, boy, I can do this in uh, 50 minutes. 
and John is over here. Well, I could do it in 40 minutes. Okay, let's both, you know, I'll work on this thing. You know, you know, if you take the average, 45 minutes doesn't make sense, right? We're like, well, we should save like half the time. Well, if they're really, you know, by the way, too, what I have to make clear on this as well is these type of problems, and I kind of should have uh, emphasized this in the beginning of this uh, video, but uh, when it comes to work problems, when you are working together jointly, it's kind of assumed that one person, um, in other words, they don't get in, in one another's way. Okay, so in other words, you know, uh, uh, Don, for example, is working this section of the hole independently, and John's working this section of the hole. But, you know, yeah, 22.2 minutes, you know, they're like, wow, that was great. It's excellent working together as a team, and it brings me back to my good old military days. Uh, together, everyone accomplishes more team, right? Okay, so... With all that being said, all right, if you had a difficult time with this problem, you know, most people probably did, okay? These are not, I would, you know, they're common word problems, but, uh, you know, here's a little tip for uh, those of you out there that want to learn algebra or, or taking some sort of math class, okay? What you have to really get down when it comes to algebra word problems is just master the certain uh, kind of um, uh, types of problems, like a work problem is a certain type. A rate and distance problem is another type of word problem. Mixture problems, that's another type of problem. So if you get these kind of other, and there's other ones, of course, if you get these kind of type of problems down, then when you face these problems, okay, you'll have an awareness of what to do. All right, so of course, all this stuff takes practice. But uh, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.